and they all forsook him. I need to give Dr. Stelly a disclaimer, if I may. Most of you know me as a cardiologist. I have three medical specialties. Cardiology is one, internal medicine, and I'm a board certified family medicine physician as well. During 11 years of mission practice, I had the singular privilege of delivering 2,000 babies. <clears throat> it was a lot of fun. It was a huge privilege to witness new life coming into the world. During that time, I did not perform one Abortion, not one. So those who may feel <clears throat> that there is no coalface clinician who may be, have been involved in conversation, it's not entirely correct. As far as this being a nuclear weapon against health institutions, hospital systems, the work, the right arm work of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. I would go to significant lengths to point out a little history. We do have a history related to abortion. If one looks at the statistics around the 1970s, 1980s, and early 1990s, unfortunately and sadly, and because that happens to be the case, statistics which remain heavily embedded in the memories of many, we did not have a wonderful history in our health institutions related to abortion. In 1992, guidelines were established through the Christian View of Human Life Committee. There has and is a deep concern about the past history that I have alluded to. But what is very important and interesting to look at is we come to the current time and the practice as we see it over the last 10, 15, 20 years. And I'm requesting that a slide be put up for your, our understanding as to a bird's eye view of some of the institutions that carry the name Adventist Health. And many of you will ask, well, where are they all? Well, we're giving you a sampling of probably the largest and even one of the smallest. But I can assure you that in conversations and appreciative inquiries done on our hospitals in many parts of the world, I have not yet found an outlier that falls outside of these parameters. So Advent Health, and you can read for yourselves, 38,951 in 2016, 23, go through Adventist Health West in two years, 37,271, one termination, Adventist Health, 23 terminations, Adventist Healthcare, 7,000 deliveries, six terminations, Kettering Health, 6,003 terminations of pregnancy. Waldfrieder in Berlin, a beautiful niche hospital with a beautiful obstetrical practice which I have seen. 1,000 live births per year, 
no terminations of pregnancy since 2012. One needs a landscape of understanding to interpret these figures. And let's move right to the United States where we have very good statistics. The Center for Disease Control, the latest data available, sorry David Trim, the latest data available from CDC is from 2015, in which studies it's been shown that for every 1,000 live births in the United States, there are 188 terminations of pregnancy. So let's take that to where the math would be easy for me. Kettering Health then, if it were any ways within keeping with the national average statistics, would be three times 188 which is about 500. So instead of 500, it's three. It should be clearly stated that the aim is to approach zero as much as is safely possible. And so, Dr. Stelly, to answer the question whether this document has been crafted as a nuclear weapon for any hospital around the world that bears the name Seventh-day Adventist, or to our health systems, the answer should not only be no, but actually the data affirms and we should appreciate that the health institutions around the world are taking the Seventh-day Adventist stance seriously. And I wish to appreciate that, as well as appreciating, as I did in my introduction, that in the memory of a number of our members is the painful reality of a time when we did not do as we ought. <laughs>